Hi, I'm Joe Fulton, retired CPS Energy employee. I was in charge of planning, environmental, and research when I left the company in 2007. The WB Tunnel Plant played a crucial role in the early development of city public service because in the early 1950s we were growing at a rate that we couldn't keep up with. 1951 we bought the, the land out here and in 1953 we started building Tuttle Unit Number 1. By the end of 1954, by mid-1954, we had to actually start that unit up ahead of schedule in order to meet the summer peak load of, in June of 1954. In the early 1950s, we envisioned the Tuttle properties as meeting the growth needs for the city of San Antonio for the next 10 years. The first unit at the Tuttle plant was a 60 megawatt unit, which was the biggest in our fleet at the time. After the first unit was built, we built number two. This was 100 megawatts. The number three unit was also 100 megawatts. The fourth unit was 180 megawatts, which is the largest uh, power plant unit in the southern part of the state of Texas at that time. These were the best there was. The uh, heat rate was as good. They were large units in their day. You know, a 60 megawatt and a 100 megawatt unit uh, on two and three, and then 160 on number four. Boy, that was a big unit back in the late 50s. And uh, so, yeah, these were, these were very much state-of-the-art. It, it, it added, this plant added 420 megawatts to our generation capacity uh, back in the 50s. That was uh, probably more than doubling our total generation capacity that we had for the whole city of San Antonio at the, at the time. When the Tuttle plant was envisioned and, and, and planned, uh, city public service was experiencing a building boom. The city of San Antonio was experiencing a building boom. All of the pent-up demand for electricity and goods created during World War II was now coming to bear. We couldn't build units fast enough to meet our demand. If we couldn't meet demand, that would slow the growth and development of this city. And we would not be living in the seventh largest city in America. And the Tuttle Power Plant was a key component of that early history of the, the, the booming growth that San Antonio undertook in the 50s. Okay, we got a fire, a fire in the motor. About uh, three, four years ago is the last time we ran a unit here at the Tuttle Power Plant. Number two unit was decommissioned several years back due to boiler problems. And then, of course, a few years ago, we had generator problems with Tuttle 1 and Tuttle 4 on the same summer. Uh, it was determined that those generators would be way too expensive to fix, so those units were decommissioned at the time, or retired, I should say. And number three was the only unit still running. We ran that unit for a couple of more years, and then a decision was made that it simply wasn't economical to the company to keep this plant as a viable plant anymore. So the plant was essentially retired a couple of years ago as far as any operating units, and now we're beginning a plant decommissioning process. All we're trying to do here at Tuttle is to essentially prepare this site for the possibility of siting some peaking generation out here in the future if that becomes uh, a feasible thing to do. Uh, and that is a very distinct possibility. And in order to achieve that goal, all we need to do here at Tuttle is to get rid of all of our environmental exposure hazards, our public safety hazard, which is a potential with a retired unmanned power plant living right next door to the public. Um, so we need to get rid of those things. This is also a good time to recover as much possible value because uh, there's a whole lot of power plants around the country that are just about to be retired. And the market is about to be flooded with decommissioned power plants and scrap steel, scrap copper and so forth as well as any saleable equipment. So we're trying to get in ahead of that with the Tuttle plant and recover as much value as possible from the assets that we have here. Uh, mostly through sale of scrap, but also through, if possible, the sale of any equipment here.